excellent test question based on laws of exponents. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a challenge question for you. It is based on exponents. We learn understand the laws of exponents also while solving this particular question. If 9 to the power of n times 3 square times 3 to the power of n minus 27 to the power of n divided by 3 to the power of 3m times 2 cube is equal to 1 over 27, find the value of m minus n. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, we do notice that all the terms, most of them, can be written in terms of 3 in this particular case, right? 9, as you know, is 3 square and 27 is equal to 3 cube. So that can help us to simplify, right? So let's rewrite the question. We have 9 to the power of n. I could write this as 3 to the power of 2, right, to the power of n, that is 9, times 3 square times 3 to the power of n minus 27. 27 is 3 to the power of 3, right, and then n, right, divided by 3 to the power of 3m times 2 cube. 2 cube is 8. We'll replace it by 8 soon. So we have 1 over 27 on the right hand side. Now 3 to the power of 2 to the power of n means 3 to the power of 2n, right? So let's rewrite this as 3 to the power of 2n times 3 square, which is 9, times 3 to the power of n minus 3 to the power of 3n. We have 3 to the power of 3m in the denominator. And let me write 2 cube as 8, right? So 1 over 27. We can write 3 to the power of 3 also. Okay. Now, in the numerator, you can combine all the terms since the base is same. So the base here is 3. 2n plus 2 plus n, right, minus 3 to the power of 3n. Over 3 to the power of 3m times 8 equals to 1 over 3 cube. So, so, that gives us 3 to the power of 2n plus n is 3n plus 2 minus 3 to the power of 3n over 3 to the power of 3m times 8 equals to 1 over 3 cube. Now 3 to the power of 3n is common in the numerator, right? So we can take that as common. So, in the numerator, I can write 3 to the power of 3n. When I take that as common, plus 2 means 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, minus 1, right? And denominator, we have 3 to the power of 3m times 8 equals to 1 over 3 cube. 9 minus 1 is 8, right? So, 3 to the power of 3n times 8 over 3 to the power of 3m times 8 equals to 1 over 3 cube. Perfect. So 8 and 8 cancels. That results in, on the left hand side, 3 to the power 3n divided by 3 to the power 3m and on the right side, 1 over 3 cube, right? So that should give you very close to the result of finding what is m minus n. I'd like you to pause the video now, write down the answer, and then look into my suggestions, right? So let's rewrite this on a fresh page. So we have 3 to the power of 3n 
over 3 to the power of 3m equals to 1 over 3 cube, right? So let's write down as the powers in the numerators. So combining, this gives you what? It gives me 3 to the power of 3n minus 3m, right? And here on the right hand side, we could write this as 3 to the power of minus 3. So what do you get? Well, you can also see that the base are common. So that means exponent should be equal, right? So that means 3 to the power of n minus 3 to the power of m is equal to minus 3. You can simplify this by taking 3 common minus 3. Or now you can say what? Well, n minus m is equal to minus 1 or m minus n is equal to 1. Make sense? So we get our result that m minus n is actually equal to 1. Perfect? So that is how you can actually solve this particular question. So I hope you understand how do we solve such questions. So we are working with exponents and the laws of exponents which can help us get to the answer. Perfect? So we found that m minus n is equal to 1 perfect. I hope the solution helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can always contact me on the given email address to learn more. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.